Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part... What is this, 18? 18 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Today we're going through... Well, this is the Nightmare Barons, which I did with my other group. So, I'm kind of skipping any dialogue there. Alice doesn't have anything important to say that Ilias didn't say herself. Now this is new, though. So, we finally come this far. Let's explore the inside of the Tartaros. I wonder what kind of parallel world is it's connected to this town. And, maybe, my father will be there this time. The first things first. This is... Flames? Well, if we don't have somebody who can manipulate the power of flame, we can't proceed further. Huh, well, it's pretty clear whose work this is. Can I do it? It doesn't look like I can. Oh, mini. Alright, so. This is where I come in. Hey, as far as playing with fire goes, this is pretty low-key. Salamander extinguishes it. Okay. We've gotten rid of the obstacle. So, how about you show yourself? Ba -ba -ba. As expected. It's her work. That's right. So, just like in the true history, the four spirits have been collected. And following Mercator's Mercator's memo. We went and gathered all the spirits. Thanks to that, the White Rabbit didn't have much use. It didn't have much need to guide us. So, the value of my existence is about the same as a memo? In that case, from now on, how about we handle these tasks just by ma- just with memos? Heh. <laughs> well, we'd be thankful if you did it that way. So anyway, your objective is to guide us along on the true path of the true history, right? Well, generally, that's kind of the feel of it. We know that as this world's history diverges from the true history, in as much as it does so, the progress of chaos continues. So everybody, although they're all planning their separate things, are doing it in such a way as to keep the true history, keep the history as close to the true history as possible. Everybody. You mean Mother and the Little Sisters and also the Seraphim? Right, right. Their various goals are different, but they're all proceeding in such a way as to not disorder the history too much. Hmm. I've got the premonition that someone's going to be fo chasing me. That... Stern? No. That self-conscious specs guy. Or the half me half mecha father. Well, both of them are y in your first degree of kinship. They seem to be making an enemy of me, but, in truth, no matter how many of me you defeat, there's no meaning to it. I'm not in existence. I'm the man manifestation of a principle. For example, it'd be like trying to defeat the Pythagorean theorem. No matter how many triangles in your vicinity you should happen to destroy, it doesn't change the fact that the length of the the square of the length of the hypotenuse will be equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Jeez, what the hell are you talking about? But I don't want to lose my head, so I'm running away. So then, see you next time. Hey, wait. So see, she just jabbers on about stuff and then leaves. Did she say anything useful? 
Well, whatever. She left. <laughs> well, I don't think she's going to be... We can get her to tell us anything. So, let's go down into the Tartaros. QQ. As expected, the construction down to here is kind of familiar. But the mashup of the place is more chaotic. But it doesn't have those dimensional tears like the Tartaros in Savasa did. So perhaps in the parallel world on the other side, it'll be fairly stable. Well, that would be nice, but well, we'll know when we get there. I found it interesting that the White Rapid referred to Luca's father as half Mecca. I mean, we got a couple of shots of him at the end of the last chapter, and it's hard to make a sense of it. It could have been armor, but maybe he really is, like, part mechanical. Anyway, here's the door. A door that separates space-time. Luca, go ahead. Okay. You and your father. Just... why? So, this is a castle? What's a castle doing here? This castle... I recognize it. This is... Yes, this is Remina Castle. Oh. The NPCs in here are not very useful. This says, system is broken. So, humans are buried in the walls? No. They're fused into the walls. What just happened to make this occur? This is horrible. Hmm. We don't know if they're alive or if they're dead. In any case, let's be careful as we proceed. Some kind of warning. Is that this guy? No response. This door here, you can't open. You need a card reader. Kinda like those ruins. Well, maybe. So, a mechanical device here. It seems to be some kind of card thing. Oh yeah, thanks Alice. So these guys can say all kinds of nonsense. This thing was disposed of, this thing was disposed of, this thing was frozen, this thing was disposed of. That's stupid. One of your T's is not capitalized. Get it right punk. This guy says, the experiment failed. Here's one. Perhaps the most portentous god born. So, what's going on in here? These people are probably the residents of Remina. And in some incident, they got wrapped up in this. Cute. Ooh, small metal. I've almost got enough to get the king. King title. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'd have gotten it a long time ago if I were playing more thoroughly. So, this impossible space. This could be the gap between dimension and dimension. QQ. Come on, Nuriko. Tell us something more informative. So, what kind of parallel world we'll find this time? Hey, how about we not go, after all? Before we go to a parallel world, you say that every time. How about you get used to it already? Come on, Sonya can't do it. It's her job. Sort of. Or something. It's actually kind of creepy, but... I can't hold it against her. Anyway. It doesn't seem that much different from when we entered. At the very least. 
the natural of the natural stuff growing here seems to be remaining as it was. So unlike the Tartarus and Savasa, it's not a destroyed world. Well, let's be careful as we explore the surroundings. Well, as far as we can see, it's this not that different from our world. It seems we didn't need to be also worked up about the danger. This world's water is very pretty, says Undine. And Sylph talks up the wind. It's the same as in our world. It blows around vigorously. It's just full of liveliness. Hmm. In that case, the succubus village should be close. If it's the same as our world. What should be closer is the noble women's village. Right here. But nothing. Funny how these parallel worlds all have only one thing to do in them. In any case. So, this doesn't seem all that different from our world, but something seems out of place. Well, the construction of the building seems kind of old-ish. Furthermore, the village people's fashion sense is kind of old as well. Hmm. Going by what I've read in books, this is the lifestyle of the Middle Ages. Perhaps 500 years ago? You there, villager. What year is it? You guys, have you been living under a rock? It's Johannes year 965. 965? That was, if I recall correctly, the time when the hero Heinrich was making his journey. Yeah, 1966 was when the hero Heinrichs vanquished the Mao. That'd be one year from now. Haha, <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You've been having some dreams? Anyway, the Mao, if you're the one to talk about her, is still living it up in the Mao castle. Hey, NPC, shut the hell up. We're talking to ourselves here. There's many people who have ventured to the Mao castle, but they've all lost their lives. It'd be nice if, like our dream, the hero Heinrich should defeat the Mao, though. You know of the hero Heinrich? Yeah, of course we do. There's nobody who doesn't. He defeated the three black nobles of Sabasa, amongst other great works. He's our star of hope. Star of hope. Huh, whatever. Furthermore, according to rumor, he's close to this village. Oh, that must be him. No, oh, it says monsters. Pretty sure he isn't a monster. Random female screaming. A soldier says, All civilians, take cover. Another soldier says, It's to the north, hurry! Hmm. Well, Mao army attack? No, it doesn't look like an organized attack. A small number of monsters have infiltrated. But monsters that move in small groups tend to be stronger ones. So that's dangerous. You guys should also avoid the northern part of the village. Hmm. No, we can't let that happen. Even if it's a parallel world, we can't let a monster attack go unhandled. Yeah, free experience for us. Let's go! We need to protect the village people. This is vaguely like the succubus village. Except, you know, made of wood and some of the buildings being different sizes. <clears throat> okay, the captain. Ho oh, there! You're the hero Heinrich! The rumor that you had come close to this village must have been true. Could we request that you slay the Queen Succubus, whom we cornered in this building? I'm terribly sorry to say so, but it's beyond our hands. 
So defeating her is beyond you, but trapping her in a building isn't. Okay, whatever. Our responses. Leave it to me, I'm high English. Or I'm not high English. Ha ha ha. Leave it to me, I'm the hero Heinrich. No, you're not! Ha. Uh, okay, then, we're leaving it to you. Please, best of luck in battle. Sounds good to me. Queen Succubus. Yeah, I guess it's a two for one sale. Oh, you came by yourself? Yeah, me and my nine friends. We thought that more soldiers would come in here. Oh yes, there are the two of them. That first one was Lilith, and this one is Lilim. Lilith is the older sister. And going by looks, this isn't the same as the eldest sister of the Lilith sisters. Anyway. That's really too bad, isn't it? We wanted to get lots of salmon from those guys. But, look carefully, Lilim. This hero's salmon looks to be a lot better than the masses of soldiers. Hmm. Do you think this could be, this child could be the rumored Heinrich? From what I've heard, he, this one's a little younger than, you know, the rumor. And Luca can re respond, I'm the hero Heinrich, or I'm the hero Luca. I'm the hero Heinrich. No, you're not! Ah, Sonia. Hmm, looks like he isn't, Lilim. But this hero's semen is certainly good stuff. Let's enjoy it, big sis. So this is Lilith and Lilim. They were famous as advisors, close friends of Black Alice. It's an odd feeling fighting someone coming out of the history books. Oh, an enemy that the hero Heinrich fought against. And now I get to. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Oh, we're getting excited too. Isn't that right, Lilim? Yeah, these girls are getting excited in a different way. That's right. So, let's send him on a journey to the world of pleasure. Yeah. Hurry up already. Ah. Uh, big sis, this hero is pretty strong. Well... It looks like we're going to lose, so let's retreat. Boom, they're gone. Jeez. Somehow we got them to retreat. Based on the damage that we delivered, it'll be a while before they get up to any more mischief. Hey, are you alright? Hmm? Hey, it's Luca. Again. Oh no, this is his dad. Well, this is 500 years ago, so this is his dad 500 years younger. Wait, that doesn't make that. Okay, let's read what he has to say. He heard that a wandering hero had jumped in here in order to defeat the Lilith sisters. Two Lilith sisters, not three. Anyway, he came in a hurry in order to lend a hand, but it looks like that wasn't necessary. But it's surprising to win against the Queen Succubi. What? No way. You, you, you're... I'm Heinrich, a hero who's heading for the Mao Castle. How surprising! Oh, what do I do? It's the real thing. And, um... I'm Lu... Lu Luca. Lulu Luca? That's a strange name. Ah, excuse me. It's a pleasure to meet you, hero Lululuka. Hmm, <laughs> interesting hero, aren't he? Isn't he? Ah, sorry for the late introduction. This is the magician, Alice Romeria. 
She's accompanying on my Germany, one of my allies. I'm the magician Alistair Merlia. It's a very great pleasure to meet you. You very mysterious people. You're... no way. Oh. From you I get... I feel... something close to myself. Maybe, just maybe, we're related. <laughs> yeah, she's figured it out already. Oh, wait, was that a spoiler? Anyway. This isn't a good place to be standing around talking. So we're going to return to the inn. This village only has one inn, so you'll be staying there as well, right? Why don't we have a chat there and talk about our journeys up to now? Oh, I would be ex exceedingly honored. Oh, geez. You don't need to be so formal. There are people who call me the Star of Hope, but it's just too much of an overestimate of me. <laughs> Hero Lululuka, you're an interesting person. So then, let's meet again at the inn. How come so many people resemble Luca so much? Well, anyway, let's hurry and get to the inn. And just in case, we should be prepared for battle. Why? Don't tell me you're, you're planning on fighting the hero Heinrich. No. That magician. I get a very bad feeling about her. Is she, perhaps, isn't she, perhaps, Black Alice herself? Then, Heinrich is traveling along with the Mao that he's supposed to defeat. Heinrich hasn't noticed, has he? Of course not. Probably it's one of Black Alice's little sideshow entertainments. Putting on a, the face of an ally and fooling the hero. She's got some nasty hobbies. Alright, I understand. We'll be careful when we go. But we're going to do it, aren't we? All right, let's go in there and kick Black Alice. Ah, oh, so you came. Come, have a seat. I'm glad to have the first chance I've ever had to talk with a hero of my own age bracket. Heh <laughs> It's a hero's tea party, huh? Well, let's get started. And that is how I managed to win against the three black nobles. If those girls had been a little wiser, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Oh, and I look at me, I've been talking about myself all this time. How about you guys? Where did you come from? Well, you see, don't tell him anything unnecessary, Luca. We came from Elysville. We came from very far away. We came from another parallel world. Sounds good. Another parallel world. Somehow you say some difficult things. Heinrich must be pretty dumb. Well, Luca's pretty dumb, so yeah. This is very interesting. Yes, truly interesting. Oh, sorry, excuse me. This is... Hmm. What is it, Mephisto? What are you saying all of a sudden? I'm receiving a telepathic signal from my home country. It seems there's a lot of static mixed in with it, though. It's hard to hear. On the contrary, it's surprising that a telepathic signal actually gets to this world. Normally, since the space-time is completely cut off, it wouldn't reach at all, but Luca's presence is acting as a relay antenna, it seems. But the static is pretty bad. 
Uh, okay, can you hear me? Can you speak a little louder? Grand Noah is being attacked by a great force of monsters. What? Grand Noah? No, Grand Noah, not just Grand Noah. Grand Gold as well, and Sabasa and San Ilya. No way. The Mao army is attacking all four of the great countries at once. So it started. The Mao army's attack on all fronts. Look, we need to return to our world at once. An attack by the Mao army. So then we too will. No, this is our world's, um, you see. This is a problem that we have to resolve. Hero Heinrich, you need to fulfill your own mission. Hmm, I don't understand the details, but I can see that you guys are prepared. It'd be boorish of me to poke my nose in any further. Ah uh, well, as for you guys, good luck on your journey. Well, we know that you'll safely defeat the Mao, though. Oh, you already know, huh? Hurry, Luca. Use this harpy feather. We're going to Grand Noah. I need to use it, right? Yeah! So, Luca uses it. Good job, Luca. You're a real hero. Oh, wow. They've already gotten as far as the town. There are lots of monsters in here. You can only see elves on this screen. Elves hardly count as monsters, really. So it seems there's a, a lot of them and they seem to be winning at the moment. Wouldn't it be a bit unreasonable to try and push him out by force? In this situation, the only way to... The one way to solve it is to defeat the leader of the invading army. No, oh, that's convenient. If we do that, then the force will dissolve. Oh! This is rather a different place than the Grand Noah, I know. Black Alice! You... you attached yourself to our warp? Oh, how rude. I was accidentally brought along with the warp. Furthermore, this place we got to, it's a very mysterious country. How lovely. Well, Alice calls her Black Alice, and she doesn't even deny it. Hey, well, anyway, what do we do? Well, we'll deal with her later. For now, we need to stop the Mao army's attack. Well, well, you seem to be in a pretty tight spot. How about I lend you my help as well? You don't need to thank me. It's... A favor to one of my brethren. No. Would it be more correct to say a favor to one of my descendants? Okay, no. She's actually descended from your sister, not you. Dumbass. <clears throat> okay then. Let's defeat the Mao army. This is very interesting. Hee hee hee. Yeah, she's joining us. Just so you know, no matter what, the one lending you a hand here is the magician Alice Stromelia. You shouldn't expect any power greater than that from me. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, you just keep your true powers under check, okay? We don't want to rely on that kind of crap anyway. So, now we've allowed with Black Alice. In order to fight with the current Ages Mao army. Quite the scenario, huh? Alright, let's go. We need to defeat these enemies and find our way to the leader. Hey, look, I found her. That big girl back there could kind of be a mini boss, but this is the boss. She's saying to her troops, continue onward. 
Once we take this land, it'll be our new utopia. Yeah, whatever. Queen Fairy. What is the meaning of this? Why are you guys, fairies and elves, attacking a human country? And who are you? We've received orders from them all. Are you planning on interfering? Huh. So you're being a running dog for the Mao, huh? According to what I've heard... Well, she said it herself. It's in return for the rulership of this area. Humans have destroyed forests and taken our natural habitat. And we've been confined to the Island of Fairies. Hey, there's the Forest of Fairies, too. Anyway. Furthermore, it was a mistake of ours to continue avoiding these battles. Against the oppression of the humans, we needed to show force in order to resist. Hmm. Well, you guys have legitimate grievances. But this is just one-sided aggression, nothing more. If there's something you want to say, then we'll listen. So please, pull your ma army back. I won't hear it. If you're going to in interfere, then we'll eliminate you by force. And we'll show you the power of Mother Nature. The anger of Mother Nature. QQQ! You know what that means. Oh, to think that I would taste defeat. Can't be helped, I'll have to pull back. But, all you've defeated is our first wave. We elves and fairies, our army will continue to be assaulting you, do not forget. Whoosh, goodbye. So, it's our victory. With this, the elves and the fairies should retreat for now. Yeah, this isn't over. There are others being attacked right now, so let's hurry to those countries. So, we defeated the Elf Fairy Force. But, even without time to listen to the cries of victory, we left Ground Noah behind us. The Mao army is attacking all four of the great countries. So we need to use all of our powers to protect all of them. So in short, we get to do that three more times. But that will be all for this time. The next time we're actually going to do an Elias aside because there's a slight change in what happens in that parallel world. So thanks for watching and we'll see what that is next time.